वेलकम टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास 11 स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज राजदीप अगस्ती सेंट जेवियर्स बिहानी स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूमेरिकल न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द चैप्टर 3 ऑफ योर एनसीईआरटी बुक दैट इज मोशन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन अबाउट द न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन for getting the further notifications so let us start hey students in front of you this is the problem number 1 according to your ncert page number 55 problem number 3.1 here students it is written in which of the following examples of motion can the body be considered approximately a point object hey students before dealing this question let me explain few more important things about the consideration of the point object students we have read in this chapter that any object moving in a straight line only one kind of motion it is doing first thing if any object is doing any other type of motion than that of uh, moving in a straight line then it is not considered in the uh, it is not considered as a point object number 2 if any object is moving in a straight line and its size is very much smaller than the distance covered by it then we will consider it a point object so two things you will have to keep in your mind before considering the point object first one object under consideration should not perform any other type of motion my mean to say rotational motion circular motion or vibratory motion only it should perform the translational motion is it okay and uh, number 2 its size should be very very small as compared to the distance traveled by it so let us start here the first option is a railway carriage moving without jerk between two stations will we consider it as a point object yes of course because whatever the eligibility criteria of being point object it is coming into it see a railway carriage travels very far distance uh, compared to its size first one and it is mentioned here without jerking without jerking means it is not taking any type of jerk if it will take it if it will take any jerk then the vertical motion will start so that will be a different kind of motion than that of a linear or translatory motion number 2 number 1 we will consider it as a point object number 2 a monkey is sitting on the top of a man cycling is smoothly on a circular track will we consider it a point object yes why not we will consider it as a point object because it is moving in a circular path first one monkey is not performing any other type of motion sitting on the top of a man first one and the distance traveled by him sorry the distance traveled by monkey is very very large as compared to its size so we will so we will consider it a point object now the third c here should be c not b a spinning cricket ball that turns sharply on hitting the ground will we consider it a point object what do you think students ball is performing two type of motion 
first one it is spinning and second one it is doing a linear motion so two type of motion it is doing so we will not consider this ball as a point object and number d a tumbling beaker that has slipped off the edges edge of a table hey students a beaker was kept on the table and it has fall down slipped off the edge so it will rotate do you think uh, put a glass on a table and gently push it towards its edge and it may fall down so what we what you people will consider it will start rolling in the air so it will perform two type of motion first one it will perform the linear motion while falling down and in the second way it will rotate also so that so due to these reasons we will not consider it as a point object i hope that you people have have understand this problem if any problem is there in understanding this problem please let me know in the comment section then i will try to elaborate more ways now students let us discuss the problem number 3.2 of your ncert book students the problem is the position time x t graph for the for the two children a and b running from their school o to their homes p and q respectively are shown in the figure 3.19 choose the correct entries in the bracket below so here try to understand students this this graph actually two students were there what my mean to say two children were there so they have started running from their school so students a student my mean to say children a starts moving from point o in this way this is the graph of his running so the slope of this graph is less than that of b first thing is this my mean to say b will b will run faster than that of a because the slope of the xt graph always represents speed or velocity so whose velocity will be more students which graph have more steeper that that's uh, velocity will be more here the slope of the graph a is more uh, is less than that of b so the children b will more move faster than that of a first one first thing and now students children a starts at t is equal to 0 while student b starts its journey after some time and reach to their respective homes a reached a's home is p and b's home is q okay so this much information we have now see the options a lives closer to the school than b now second b lives closer to the school than a students in a single option there is a two statements there is a two statements this is the beauty of this question see now a lives closer to the school than b is it correct because the distance of p from o is less than the distance of q from o actually a's house is p and b's house is q so whose house is nearer to school a's house because it is p so here a lives closer to the school than b this statement is correct now consider the second statement of op second option 
ए स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द स्कूल अर्लियर देन बी और बी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द स्कूल अर्लियर देन ए यू सी स्टूडेंट्स हु स्टार्ट अर्लियर फर्स्ट एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए स्टार्टेड हिज जर्नी एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम बी स्टार्टेड हिज जर्नी हु स्टार्टेड अर्लियर ए स्टार्टेड अर्लियर देन बी सो हियर ए स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्कूल अर्लियर देन बी दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट सी ए वॉक्स फास्टर देन बी और बी वॉक्स फास्टर देन ए हु मूव फास्टर हु स्लोप इज हाई हु स्लोप इज हाई टेल बाय वॉचिंग दिस ग्राफ इट इज ऑब्वियस स्टूडेंट्स द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ ऑफ बी इज मोर देन दैट ऑफ ए सो बी विल मूव फास्टर देन ए सो ही आर द ऑप्शन नंबर बी वॉक्स फास्टर देन ए नाउ थर्ड वन सॉरी फोर्थ वन ए एंड बी रीच होम एट द सेम टाइम सेम और डिफरेंट टाइम स्टूडेंट सी हियर who who is uh, taking more time a is taking more time this much time a travels more than that of b so different time is correct option now e a overtakes b on the road once or b overtakes a on the road twice so see here students who overtake B overtake A. So students, uh, how B overtake A? Because B is earlier than that of uh, than uh, A. B reached earlier than A, so B overtaked A. So B overtakes A on the road once. So this is the correct answer. now students let us discuss the problem number 3.3 of your ncert book that is page number 56 let us discuss this problem today a woman starts from her home at 9 am a woman see here a woman starts from her home at 9 am walks with a speed of 5 km per hour on a straight road up to her office 2.5 km away she stays at at the office up to 5 pm and returns home by an auto with a speed of 25 km per hour choose the suitable scale and plot the xt graph of her motion so students probably i hope that you you people have understand this problem so let us discuss this problem just a minute a woman starts from her home a woman was there she starts from her home at which time 9 am in the morning and she went to her office at 9 o'clock with a speed of 5 km per hour with a speed of 5 km per hour on a straight road up to her office 2.5 km students how much time she will take to reach her of her office see here we know that distance is equal to velocity into time students we have taken velocity over here because here the road is a straight so distance is what 2.5 km velocity was what 5 km per hour this was time 
सो टाइम वी डोंट नो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट के एम दिस इज के एम बाई एच आर सो इट विल वॉट फाइव फाइव जै ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव आर माई मीन टू से हाफ आर दिस इज द टाइम टी वन टू रीच द ऑफिस एंड देयर शी इज स्टे एंड देयर शी इज स्टे टिल फाइव पी एम एंड देन शी टेक आटो एंड कम बैक टू हर होम सो ना हाउ हाउ मच टाइम शी विल टेक टू कम बैक टू हर होम T2 let T2 be the time be the time coming back to her home so here is students distance is equal to velocity into time distance was 2.5 km and uh, velocity was what on returning 25 by auto 25 km by hr so t2 we are going to find out see so here 2.5 and 2.25 is t2 so 10 will be here 5 5 cancel means 1 upon 10 th r this is t2 okay students so see here students first this is how many minutes 30 minutes this is how many minutes put the 16 in place are 60 minutes upon 10 means she will take 6 minutes 6 minute now let us draw the graph students actually i am not using here the graph you people have to use the graph and i am giving you a rough idea about drawing the graph see you have been taught while teaching the chapter that we usually consider we typically consider the time along the x axis and the displacement along y axis this is x so here students we have to draw the things we have a, we, we sorry women start her journey at 9 am so it is 9 am so it is 9 am it is 10 am it is 11 am it is 12 it is 13 Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and actually I am talking in the twenty-four, twenty-four hour clock. But if you will consider it in the twelve-hour clock, then it will be eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Four, five, and then we will take six. This is the time. This is the six p.m. And here we have taken the distance. So here is zero point five kilometer. Here is one kilometer. Here is one point five. Here. is 2 km and here is 2.5 okay students now she starts moving towards her office at 9 o'clock and reached after half an hour means 9:30 so if it is 9 then that will be 10 so it will be what 9:30 so see here students make it long
so this type of uh, slope will be there now she stays at 5 o'clock here is 5 now draw a parallel line with the displacement axis this is she stays over there because she has not gone away than that of 2.5 kilometer C stays over there at 5 then C starts coming back to her home after 5 pm so students how much time she has taken 1 upon 10 hour means we have we should divide the hour 1 hour 10th part that is 6 minute so here students 5 to 6 this span of time we will have to divide in 10 parts so here is the one you can divide in the graph more precisely so roughly I am drawing it so this is the uh, 1 upon 10th part of the R so this will be the graph so this time is what 6 minute or 1 upon 10th hour okay students if you feel any problem in understanding this question then let me know I will explain it in any other way now let us discuss students the problem number 3.4 of your NCRT book that is a drunkard walking in a narrow lane takes 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward followed again by 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward and so on each step is 1 meter long and requires 1 second plot the xt graph of his motion determine the graphically and otherwise how long the drunkard takes to fall in a pit 13 meter away from the start it means gadda students this question we can solve by two ways mathematically we can solve this question and graphically also i am going to elaborate by both methods see here students let x be the distance traveled by the drunkard before just falling on the pit see he moves 5 steps forward so here his displacement in the forward direction will, direction will be positive and in the reverse direction it will be negative so students here 5 steps he, move, he moves forward and then 3 steps backward so backward displacement we have taken negative and forward displacement we have taken positive so to total displacement 2 meter he will travel in 8 steps again he will move 5 steps forward means 5 meter it will he will travel then again 3 meters backward so again in this way he will move 2 meter in 8 steps then again he will move 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward so here in in this case also 2 meter distance he will travel in 8 steps again how many steps he has till now moved sorry to say how many meters he has till now moved 2 2 2 means 6 meters again he will move 5 steps sorry here we will do 5 steps forward means 5 meter he will move and then 3 steps backward then again he will move 2 meters in 8 steps now total he moved 8 steps now again he will move forward 
means here is written students how long the drunkard takes to fall in a pit 13 meter away from the start so students it has been 13 minutes because see here 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 plus 2 means 8 steps and plus 5 steps now need not to coming backward because he is already fallen down on the pit so how meter how many uh, meters he has traveled means 3 meter plus 5 meter plus 3 meter and so on see here eight steps first then again eight steps then again then again eight steps then again five steps here so total steps 37 see here students 8 plus 8 16 Plus eight twenty four, and plus eight thirty two, and plus five means thirty seven steps he moved. I mean to say thirty seven meter he exactly moved. And now in one step he takes one second. So how many second he will take? Thirty seven seconds. So here. Thirty-seven seconds he will take to fall down on the pit. This was the analytical method or mathematical method that that I have elaborated. Now let us come to the graphical method. So students, you have been taught while teaching the chapter that v obviously or v typically takes time along the x-axis. so time we will take here and displacement we will take along the y axis so students let us divide it 0 then 5 then 10 then 15 then 20 then 25 35 and 40 okay and here time one sorry the displacement one here is time and here is displacement 1 and 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 little bit long i will have to draw just a minute here 11 12 and at the top it is 16 13 with the help of graph you people have to draw this students if you feel any problem then you can ask here is 7 don't be confused because same color i have written here is 6 7 8 now this is the graph i have drawn so five steps forward means five second it will take to move forward yes. let me draw the graph see here this is the forward steps so this is the 5 then again he come back means again he come back how many steps three steps backward so how much time it will take 8 second five steps in going and five three steps in coming back means three second means here will be something eight so till 2 he will come till 2 he will come because he come back three steps backward this is it
then again he will move 5 steps forward means 8 plus 5 13 so 13 will be something over here just see so here students it is on 2 5 steps he will take forward so where he will reach at 7 he will reach a little bit above it has made mm, see now again he will come back so this is what this is 13 again he will come back 3 steps means 4 to 4 minus 3 will be uh, sorry to say 7 minus 4 uh, 3 will be 4 so here we, he will come somewhere in front of 4 so 13 means 16 steps 16 second it will take then again he will start moving forward 5 steps so here is 16 so 21 21 second he will take and will reach his at time 4 meter now 5 steps he will take so he will reach on the 9 here he will reach then it is time 21 so again he will take 3 steps backward so it is to it will be 30, 21 plus 3 means 24 so here is 24 so he will come back let me draw the things clearly ok 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 and now he is on 9 then he come back on 6 9 minus 3 means 6 so he somewhere here he will come then again 5 steps forward he will take so he is on 16 sorry he is on 6 it will move 6 plus 5 means 11 at 11 he will move at 11 then how much time it will take 29 minutes 24 plus 5 means somewhere here 9 24 plus 29 minutes then again he will come back 3 steps back he will come so again he will come 11 minus uh, 3 that will be 8 so how much time it will 29 plus 3 means uh, 30 uh, 32 so here it will be somewhere 32 so let me draw the straight line so that I may draw the graph clearly so where he will reach he is at the just time uh, just now at 11 minus 3 3 steps he will take backward so 11 minus 3 that he will come at um, 8 so one line I should draw here is it 8 here now students how much time here would be 29 here 32 and then again he will move 5 steps forward till here so 30 32 plus 5 means 37 over here ok students see here here is 30 so now he has fallen down on the pit so this is the desired graph of our question so how uh, 
what information we are getting from uh, this we are getting that on the 37 second he has fallen down on the pit and how much distance it has traveled before falling down is 13 meter okay students i hope that you people have understand this problem clearly now students let us discuss the problem number 3.5 of your ncert book see here a jet airplane traveling at the speed of 500 km per hour ejects its products of combustion at the speed of 500 km per hour relative to the jet plane what is the speed of the latter with the with respect to an observer on the ground students it is obvious from this question that this question is belongs to the concept of relative velocity so let us discuss this question see here was a airplane and this was a airplane and its velocity was 500 kilometer per hour students we are considering this this direction positive and obviously the reverse direction will be indicated as negative so here students fuel is burning here so its velocity is what minus 500 kilometer per hour students here from watching where it is 500 kilometer per hour per hour students one person suppose sitting on here and he is watching this that its velocity is 500 kilometer per hour but one person is standing on the ground this is the one person and is standing on the ground watching this airplane and he observed that its velocity is 500 kilometer per hour but one person is sitting on the rock uh, on the airplane is saying that the combustion speed is 500 kilometer per hour now our question is what will be the combustion speed on watching from the ground frame of reference okay so what will be the speed of this combustion in his observation not in his observation it is given according to his observation it is minus 1500 but what will be according to his observation let us discuss it students you have been taught about the concept of relative velocity so here the velocity of jet suppose with respect to earth it is jet is what 500 kilometer per hour now velocity of combustion with respect to jet is minus 15 kilometer per hour now relative velocity with respect to earth of combustion means velocity of combustion with respect to earth will be what c students v velocity of combustion with respect to jet plus velocity of jet with respect to earth see here students we will put the values that is 500 sorry here should be 1500 plus minus 1500 this is kilometer per hour per hour so here will be students minus 1000 kilometer per hour so this is VCE this is the velocity of combustion with the earth frame of reference okay students i hope that you people have understand this problem 
Now, students, let us discuss the problem number three point six of your NCERT book. See here, a car moving along a straight highway with a speed of one hundred twenty-six kilometer per hour is brought to a stop within a distance of two hundred meter. What is the retardation of the car, and how long does it take for the car to stop? This is the question, students. So, let me elaborate it. This is the solution. This is the solution of this problem. See, students, this is the car and was moving with a speed of one hundred twenty-six kilometer per hour. Convert it, it into the meter per second. So, for converting any velocity given in the kilometer per hour into meter per second, we multiply it by five upon eighteen. So we have multiplied now. Solve it. Eighteen one ja eighteen eighteen seven ja. So it will be thirty five meter per second. So this was the speed of the car. And after traveling two hundred meter, it will stop. So initial velocity is given to us. That is u is equal to thirty five meter per second. Now according to third equation of motion what is that students known to you or not v square is equal to u square plus 2 as where yeah, symbols has their usual meaning this is the final velocity this is the initial velocity and this is the acceleration and this is the displacement so final velocity car will stop so it will be what zero So zero square into thirty-five. What is initial velocity? Square plus two a s is what? Two hundred meter it has travelled before stopping. So it is two hundred. Now solve this. Thirty-five square is equal to four hundred a. Now students, it is thirty-five. Into thirty-five upon four hundred is a. So five seven ja, five eight ja. So here five seven ja, five sixteen ja. So you will get a is equal to minus forty-nine. upon 16 now students if you will solve this you will get minus 3.06 meter per second square students this is the required retardation negative sign indicates that this is the retardation now what is left time is left means how long does it take means how long does it take for the car to stop this thing we will have to find now students apply the first equation of motion that is what v is equal to u plus at first equation of motion This is this we are going to apply. So final velocity was zero is known to us. Initial velocity was thirty five, and now acceleration. Sorry to say, retardation is known to us. That is zero point six into time is not known to us. So we have kept t as such. Send thirty five here. So it will be minus thirty five. Is equal to minus three point zero sixty. So minus minus sign will cancel out. So here thirty five upon three point zero six. This is the time. Students, if you will solve this, you will get t is equal to eleven point four three seconds. Now, students, I hope that you people have understand this problem. See properly, or take a screenshot if you want to take.